He was for us. <laughs> the young boy had just read where Penel Whitaker said he won the gold medal for his family, city, and country. Now his friends and neighbors want to pay him back with a celebration fit for an Olympic boxing champion. People are already gathering at the Whitaker home on Cumberland Street. Pennell's sister Lucinda is finishing a poster that will hang outside the house. Friends are putting their names on the signs that will go to the airport tonight to greet the 132-pound champion. I just can't wait till we get home. Raynell Whitaker is proud of his older brother who wouldn't give up. He kept going. He did his, you know, schoolwork like my mom told him. He had some hours studying. After doing it, he go to the gym, he practice, and they came out beautiful. And he bringing the gold home. That's right. And the champ's older brother Raymond hasn't stopped shaking hands since a referee stopped the gold medal bout yesterday in the second round. That's when Sweepy made good on a promise, according to his longtime friend Victor Everett. We were sitting down, we socialized. I want everybody to hear this. He stood up. He said. He said, fellows, I'm not going to let my family down for nothing. This is something I have fought for him for a long time. He said, I'm not going to let my family down. He said, fellows, I'm not going to let y'all down. He said, I'm bringing home the gold. The gold is for y'all. While the gold medal may be for the family, city, and country, Sweepy's friends are planning a champagne shower for their hero. Friends and neighbors say they may lose Sweepy someday to the fame and fortune that goes along with professional boxing. And they say they want something to remember him by. They talk about changing the name of their road to Sweet Pea Street or Whitaker Drive. David Freeman, 13 News, Norfolk.